As the new bridge fully opens to traffic, it also means the end of the old bridge. News H Josh Lamberty is joining us live as drivers made some of their last passes on that bridge before it closes for good. It's new tonight on News 8 at 10. Yeah, Jim, there is a lot of nostalgia on the old I-74 bridge tonight. The bridge here has been a fixture here in the Quad Cities since the 1930s when the first span opened and 1960 when the second span opened. But still tonight, drivers are ready to be looking toward the future. Bridges are part of everyday life in the Quad Cities. Very big milestone, yes. A lot of people use that bridge every day. Howard Grip is one of them. I've used it every day since 1988. It's causing an even longer commute for him after he leaves work in Davenport. Well, this gets me off at River Drive and I need to go all the way up to the Avenue of the Cities. But after more than 30 years, Howard is ready for a change. The traffic delays. I'm looking forward to the new bridges for that reason. Same for Philip Hull. Shuttling gravel back and forth, oh, you know, running the dump trailer over the bridge, it was, it makes you nervous with the truck. It's pretty tight. He's been using the old bridge every day since he started a job four years ago in Muscatine. I hate to see him go, but yeah, we need the new one. It was part of Joseph Gomez's routine too. I know that every time we cross a bridge, my children freak out, so I'm gonna remember that. But when this bridge closes, it will be a welcome sign. I will celebrate with everybody else that celebrates about it being done. Just hanging right and 55 miles an hour, you're over the bridge, never a backup, it's great. Thousands of cars have used this bridge every day. It was a good bridge in its day, but it's been long overdue. We're closing the chapter on this span of history, making way for even more. What a project, isn't it? Now, Joseph told me tonight that uh, he's an avid biker and he's uh, ready to use that bike path and the elevator over in Bettendorf when that project is completed. Now, both of those projects, though, are, are not done yet, but those projects, the bike path and the elevator, are two features that the old bridge never had, so it will be providing a lot more connectivity to the Quad Cities. Jim. Yeah, and you think about the old bridge, any time they washed it, which they did once or twice a year, it would close down a lane of traffic. We will miss the old bridge, but we'll get over it, right, Josh? Thanks so much. Reporting live Ab in Moline. Absolutely, we will.